as if he knew that they had let a fox into the chicken coop, and he could do nothing. Hey guys, I'm here to give my theories for the new book, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Guys, this book comes out May 2nd and I just pre-ordered it yesterday, and I know I'm late to the game. I was going to go get it the day it came out, but that'd be around finals week and it'd be so busy for me that it's just easier to pre-order the book. But I am so excited for this book. I honestly started reading these books about a month ago and I'm in love with them. They are so good. I'm so excited. So here are just a couple of theories I have for the next book coming out. So someone's going to die. Sarah J. Mass has already confirmed someone of the Night Court is going to die and I'm not happy about it. I want everyone to live. I never want to be happy. But of course, you know, the title is called A Court of Wings and Ruins. Fun's going to get ruined. I do have a theory on who I think might die. I think Asriel or Armin's going to die. Mainly because I don't want Cassian or Moore or Ryzen. I don't want any of them to die. But I feel like those are my two top picks. Mainly because as is already dying, as he was in the last book. And I feel like that's just the way his story's gonna go. He's always the tragic hero. But my theory with Armin kind of connects with my theory about what we find out what Armin is. She's either a dragon or a phoenix. I like to think she's a phoenix. That way, if she dies, she can just rise from the ashes. Cause Sarah J. Mass did not say that said person who dies will not live again. So like, I'm gonna stick with that. That'd be really cool because then everyone can kind of be happy even though there's more happening. Ah. I feel like the dragon theory though is a lot more plausible because she drinks blood and she hoards jewelry. I don't really know much about phoenixes or what they do besides Harry Potter and how they rise from the ashes. So that'd be interesting. And they also said that her skin, they mentioned something about her shedding her skin when she was in jail and how she's a different form now than she was before. And I don't know if that's just from jumping different realms or maybe she did die and was reborn again. That'd be really cool and would solidify my theory. I have a book. This is my book that I write and write things in. But So a lot of people seem to think that Tamlin's gonna die in this book. And I know they really don't like him, especially after A Court of Mist and Fury, Tamlin's a tool. A lot of people think he's gonna die and that's going to redeem him and his character arc. But there are three more books coming and two novellas. So I feel like this isn't the end of Tamlin's story. If the third book, if A Court of Wings and Ruins was the last book, I would be more leaning toward that. But I don't know. I don't think he's going to die. I like to think he will change from being a tool after seeing what the King of Highburn did to Farrah's sisters and how he works with the queens. I like to think he'll change and that will be really cool. But also... It'll kind of speak to his character if he doesn't. I mean, he locked Farah up because he didn't want to lose her. And, like, that's not a good thing to do, guys. But I don't know. Jane wants a tool. I hope he changes. But, like, I don't think he will. So, Elaine and Nesta are now Fae. And every Fae seems to lean more toward a court of their own, either birth or. Well, no one's really chosen a court besides Farah. Farah's just like, she's Farah. So, it begs the question. Who are Nesta and Elaine going to side with certain courts? And I feel like that will speak to their power and I feel like they really hinted at it in the two books that we've had so far. I feel like Elaine's definitely going to be like a flower child, spring, summer, something with flowers because she's always working on her gardens and she's always known as being gentle and pure and I feel like that will really speak to her character. And Nesta, I feel like they've talked about her blowing stuff up or being a fire of burning within. So she might be with the Autumn Court and with Lucian. I definitely feel like if she is a part of the Autumn Court, it will help with her connection to Lucian and then help Lucian get in with Elaine since, you know, they're mates apparently. That's the thing. I'm interested to see where that's going to go. I like to think that Lucian will begrudgingly work with Farah just to get close to Elaine. Speaking of other courts, I really hope we get to see, I know we were told we're going to get to see some other courts. The only ones we saw so far are Spring, Summer, and the Night Court. I don't really know what other courts, I like to think we're going to see the Autumn Court since we're back with Lucian again and see more of his family and his brothers and see how they're reacting to the whole Farah and the war and everything. I know three of the courts rebelled against Aramantha, so I wonder if they would rebel again against the King of Highburn because Aramantha was just like, uh, okay, whatever, and killed everyone who rebelled against her. But I really hope we get to see the other courts in this book. I want to know how everyone else kind of works well. A lot, Some of them work with the high priestesses more, some of them are more like Tamlin where there's a high ruler and he does everything. 
So I'm curious to see how the other chords are gonna work out a little. All right, guys, let's talk about chapter 55 real quick. So <laughs> before reading these books, that's all I saw on Tumblr, on Twitter, was everyone being like, oh, chapter 55 is great, oh my god, I can't. I'm just like, chapter 55, that's like, what? I don't even. And I had my friend read it, at least like the first page, before I read the book. And I'm like, read this and tell me what you think. And I just remember seeing her face go red. And she was laughing and blushing, and I was just like, what? And she's like, you're gonna have to read this. And I remember reading it, and I got to chapter 42, and I was like, whew. 42? What's 55 gonna be like? And then I got to chapter 48 and I was like, this this is like, what, what else are we gonna get? You know, like, where are we gonna, is there an up from here? There was an up. <laughs> chapter 55 was an experience. I don't know really how to feel about it. It was really, like, obviously it was, part of me felt like it was a little out of it. It took away, but also it really dug deep into Farah and Rysan's characters and them finally connecting and bonding and being mates. A lot of people want to get another chapter 55 in the next book, but I feel like if the title is A Court of Wings and Ruins, chapter 55 isn't gonna come again. Until maybe the last book, but even then, I don't know, maybe another whole book until we get another version of chapter 55. And Athy is definitely pregnant. Like, they had the whole spring court ceremony where Talon was like, I need to, you know, mate with someone, blah, blah, blah. She totally, like, snuck her way in there and she's pregnant with a little Tamlin and Athy. I actually have in my notes, I have, and Athy is definitely preg preg. Uh, I wrote that at 3 a.m. Don't know why I wrote preg preg. It's weird. She's definitely pregnant, though, with his kid. Like, there's no doubt. Why would they mention it if she wasn't? I like to think that she's gonna die. She definitely, she's just evil and needs to kick the bucket, needs to get out of there, get away. She's just, she's so power hungry and I just, oh, I despise her. Especially after what she did to Farrah's wedding, even though I wanted it to get ruined. But still, it was not cool. Come on, girl. Then that also begs the question, if Tamlin dies and then she dies and they did have a kid, who's going to take care of the kid? Like, the kid had nothing to do, I mean, yeah, he's got the blood of like two people. I like to think that Farah would adopt the kid. I like to think Taylor would somehow, you know, be like, oh, please take care of my child. Like, he didn't do any, he or she didn't do anything. Please help my kid and raise him well. I like to think Farah would take that in and that will be her and Rysan's baby until they decide to have their own kids one day. But like, I don't know. That would just be really cool and really sweet and I feel like the kid would be raised well by Farah and Rysan and not his parents. Or her parents. I don't know why I keep saying his. That's wrong. It can be either or. A lot of people seem to think that Farah might be pregnant in the next book and that might be some bad things that'll happen. Like Tamlin might try to get rid of the baby and all that kind of stuff. I don't think she is. She talked about how she wanted to wait a few centuries, I guess, for the Fae since they live forever. But I just, I don't know. I feel like you can't have two pregnant people because Anathy is definitely pregnant. I feel like Farrah can't be. I feel like we won't even get that till the last book. Maybe even after the last book. They mentioned the tonic she's taken and it wasn't confirmed if she had taken the tonic or not. And I don't know, I just don't want her to be pregnant. I feel like that would be just so heartbreaking. I mean, Ryson would be overjoyed. Like, it's him and Farrah's kid. Come on, that's like the ultimate, like, fuck you to Tamlin. But then Tamlin's gonna go crazy and try to get rid of that kid. And Farrah's gonna do everything in her power to take care of that kid and it's just gonna tear everything the whole war apart and i don't know i just want everyone to be happy i don't want anyone to die <laughs> all right guys well that's it for what i have now uh let me know what you think down in the comments below let me know what court you think you're a part of i took a quiz yesterday and it told me that i was in the dawn court which i found kind of interesting i mean i want a night court but only for rysan because rysan is amazing i just i think it'd be interesting let me know what you think below what court that you guys would belong in and May 2nd, guys. It's coming. I'm gonna be a wreck. It's fine, wasn't everything, but this book is just gonna ruin me. Ah, get it, quarter wings are ruined. Ugh. Oh no. <gasps> tuxedo mask! Oh no, it wasn't tuxedo mask, it was Luna. She has a little band-aid because she's hiding. Her moon. See you guys next time.